Hey guys, I'm super excited today. This has uh, been a long time coming. I, I spoke in the fall with Joel and Genevieve Tullis, and uh, they've been coming for quite a while, and have a faith with the Lord, uh, and want to just make their faith public. I remember meeting with Joel over a breakfast, I think it was breakfast at Granny Shakers. That's my go-to place, Granny Shakers. Uh, breakfast at Granny Shakers. We were just chatting about what God's done in their lives over the past several years that he brought them from this place where they weren't serving him, but now they have this desire to know him at a deeper level to the point uh, where they've got a few kids who uh, were younger, and they just they want them to know Jesus. We talked about whether they were ready, and they're not quite ready uh, to take that step of faith, but you know, we don't want to we don't want to hold off on making faith public. You can step in with me. But join me in praying for Joel and Genevieve as they raise their kids and see their kids man, come to faith in Jesus. I think you'll be dedicating one of yours in a couple of weeks. Man, so many cool things. It always reminds me of the story of Cornelius. Uh, when, uh, when Peter comes in and he just sees that the Spirit of God fell on them and that the entire family was baptized. So I love seeing a husband and a wife make their faith public today. My encouragement to you guys is if you, if you make your faith public today, that means you're making it public in front of all the people sitting here. And so I don't think they're going to be judging or hold you guys accountable for everything, but they're going to be praying for you. We're going to be praying for you guys as you step forward in your faith. Can I pray for you really quickly and we'll baptize you. Father God, we thank you for Joel and for Genevieve. And I thank you for their step of faith. It's so difficult. It's a good first step, but it's difficult to make our faith public because that means that there are people seeing the internal decision we've already made. So I pray that you would give them confidence from this day forward that as they work out their salvation, as they figure out what your calling on their lives are, God, I pray that you would give them clarity and that you would give us as a church the ability, the strength, the desire to encourage them in their process. God, we love you and we trust you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. All God's people said, amen. I now have to you, my brother Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son,